this video we're going to be talking about how to say the date in French as well as how to do time. So first let's talk about the date. So in French it's very, uh, they've got a very set way of doing things and the way that you write out the date. Now like other cultures other than American culture, okay, they put make the date say you're going to do okay 4th of July in 2017 today we'd write it like this in our culture now in France and a lot of other cultures you put the day first then the month then the year okay so that's what you do in France is you go the day month year now this works when you're writing it out in a sentence as well so, if you wanted to do a date, okay, we're going to go the 4th of July and we're going to say that it was on Thursday. Okay, it wasn't, but we're going to just say it is for the purposes we're going through today. So, in order to say what date it is, we're going to start with say, which means it is. It's Thursday, so say jeudi le. Now you remember our four is quatre juillet. Okay, we're not necessarily worried about the 2017. Okay, we could have also written out four as quatre. We could re write out deux said he said, but we're not going to. So that's our formula for the date. So we start off with say, and then we've got our day of the week. Followed by le, then this is our number date, followed by month, month of the year. And then we went over days of the weeks and numbers and months of the year on other videos so you should have all of those already so that's how we do that's how we say our dates in French now we're going to talk about how to say the time in French we've already in other videos we've gone over our numbers so obviously the numbers are very important so let's go over some extra vocab words that you can use when you're talking about time in French. So, first one is midi. Midi means noon in French. So this is the word you use to say noon. The next one is minuit. Okay, minuit means midnight. Our next one that we're going to use here is a le car. A le car means quarter after the hour. Okay, literally and the quarter. Our next phrase is moins le quart. Moins le quart means minus a quarter, so quarter till. <clears throat> Our next one is matin. We're going to go le matin. Okay. Le matin is the morning. So obviously you just have morning. Next one is l'après-midi. L'après-midi is the afternoon. Last one is le soir. Le soir means at night. So these are our vocab words that we need to know. Midi, minuit, et le quart, moins le quart, 
le matin, l'après-midi, le soir. Now that we've gone over our vocab for time, let's talk about how we say it, how we write it out. So, let's start with the time. Let's, well, let's, okay. So now that we've got the vocab, now we need to talk about how we say time. First thing is, in France, most of the time they're going to use a 24-hour clock. For those of you who don't know what that is, that means that everything that happens after noon, you're going to add 12 to it to tell the time. So, for example, 1 o'clock in the afternoon is 13. Okay, it's 13 hours. If it's 8 o'clock at night, then it is 20 hours. You add 12 to the number to get that 24-hour time. Okay, most of the time in French they'll use that. You can always use extra expressions like we used in our terms to indicate what time of day it is that you're using a number for. But we're going to just talk about here with the with the 24-hour time. So, how are we going to say what time it is? Now, in you should have watched uh, in uh, the Unit 1 vocab list, when it asked what time is it, where we said, quelle heure est-il? So, somebody asks you, quelle heure est-il? You respond with, il est, and then with our formula here, we have the hour, so il est blank, er, and then you have the minutes. So for example, if we're going to say that it is 7.30 at night, you're going to say, il est 19 heures 30. Okay, you could also, instead of 30, you could use a to me. Okay, that's one vocab word that I forgot to put in there. But a to me means and a half. So you can say either il est 19h30 or il est 19h a to me. That is our basic uh, formula for how we're going to say time. Now, if you're going to talk about one of the specific times, which is noon or midnight, you would just say, il est midi, or il est minuit. Okay, those, for those specific times when you've got either noon or midnight. Any other time you're going to use this formula, unless you use some of those other vocab expressions that we talked about where we use a le car, moi le car. So, for example, let's talk about if we're going to say that it is 6.45 in the evening. So, we're going to say, il est, and since it's in the evening, we need to add 12 to the time that it is, where it's 6. But, um, yeah, where it's 6, we're going to say it's 6. 15, I'm going to change it. 6.15 instead of 6.45. So 6.15, you say, it a these wheat er a car. Okay, it a these wheat er a car. Now what if I want to say that it's a quarter tail some we're going to say that it is quarter to five. All right, we're going to do we're going to do five in the morning. So it is four forty-five. You would say, "Il est cinq heures moins 
point de charge. Okay, it's five hours minus fifteen, so it's four forty-five. I need to add in here. You could have an S, okay? If it's one o'clock, you're going to say il est une heure, but any other time you're going to have an S on the R because it's 19 hours, where it's five hours. Monica. Now, you can use this moi at any time during the day that you want to. You could use it for saying it's 10 minutes to something. Okay, if you were to say it's 10 minutes to five, you'd say il est cinq heures moins dix. Okay, or you want to say that it's five minutes to six. Il est dix-huit heures moins cinq. So you can use that for any time that you want. You can subtract minutes. It's just that it could be a lot more speaking. So you don't know whether you actually want to do that, whether it's actually practical or whatever. But you can do that if you want to. So those are our times. So we've gone over the time and we've gone over the date. You're welcome to watch these videos as many times as you'd like in order to get them correct, uh, get the ideas down. You're welcome to ask me questions before, during, or after class. If you need further instruction on how to do this, um, you can also email me or make a comment or ask questions uh, underneath the underneath the video. So I will see you in class.